and welcome to Ham's Pokemon. And as you can see today, I'm about to open up a Celestial Storm booster box. Um, I'm just going to open a few of the packs out of here, just to sort of... Um, I just wanted to open up a few, just because it's obviously so expensive to, to buy these bad boys. I think I got this one for $80 on like a pre-sale from CCG Castle, which is... Uh, pretty good so it took them a while to get here I was a little bit upset that it took them to get it took as long as it did for them to get here um, I was kind of hoping that they would be here sort of on the day of release or at least the day after but it is now um, the Monday after their release so I'm a little bit upset that it took this long but look at those wonderful packs right there so I think I'm gonna open up I'm gonna open up nine I'm gonna open up a quarter of the booster box. So I'm just gonna take them all from the same side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Check that bad boy in the corner there. <clears throat> sort of see what uh, artworks we've got. So hopefully I've got one of each at least, yep. So I can go by artwork, which I actually prefer to do. Okay, so stack attacker to start so at this point i've actually opened <clears throat> 11 booster packs sort of a lot of them have been off camera and um i have only got one one gx so far actually gonna pull that down the lighting is a little bit too bright there I've only, yeah, so I've opened up <clears throat> 11 and just got one GX and it actually is a stacker attacker GX. So that's all I have so far in terms of the crazy, I mean, in terms of an ultra rare hit. So <clears throat> really excited to get into this. Oh, cool, Volto. If this Pokemon has any energy attached to it, it has no retrievals, okay. Slugma, let's see, Bagon. Reverse is a hustle belt, very cool. I think this is a relatively playable um, trainer, if this Pokemon's, if the Pokemon is a card is attached to, has 30 hit points or less remaining, and has any damage counters on it, this attack does 60 more damage. Yep, this is pretty, that's a pretty cool card. <laughs> and a Grumpig, which looks really odd. It's got like floating black um, balls in the background, which is a little bit strange. Oh well, so nothing successful like that. So yeah, like I said, it's just the one, the one hit, and that would now be 12 booster packs. So, um, really hoping that I can hit something, a few, well, a few things in this booster box. It would be, it would be quite nice. Uh, there's some really cool, of course, everyone's chasing the Rayquazas. Um, I really want an Electrode GX. I just really like Electrode and that'd be really cool. Mr. Mime too would be kind of cool. I know they're not super high playable cards, but they're pretty awesome looking. So the reverse is a Scyther, and this is another one of the really cool cards in this collection. This is just an uncommon, but very awesome artwork. And the rare is a Steelix Holographic. Very nice. There are some artworks in this that are repeats. I'm not entirely sure where this one is from. But I think it's the Bellsprout. The Bellsprout artwork on this, I believe, is from... I think it's the Aquapolis. I think it's Aquapolis. It's either Aquapolis or Sky Ridge. It's an, a repeat. So pretty cool. So there's there's the first hit, and it is a holographic. So um, <clears throat> probably going to see a few of those as the uh, as this booster box goes through. Hopefully, I do I do like the um, I do like the holographics. Um, I do. Like, I mean, I grew up with the era where holographic was like all you could get <laughs> in this base set, uh, fossil jungle. So um, I'm, I'm happy to get. So, so a uh, Apricot Maker, Don Fan, Scyther, Surskit, Onyx to go with that Steelix, Voltoy, Bagon, Torchic, reverses a Whale Lord, which is a rare, very nice. Dwindling Wave. And the rare is a Registeel. So I have a story about Registeel. <laughs> so I have now opened um, 14 packs of is that right? 14? 14 packs of cards <clears throat> from this set. This, believe it or not, is the fifth Registeel that I've had already. So over a third of the packs that I've opened so far have been Registeels. 
I don't really know what that's about. <laughs> but that has to be like some sort of record. I can't believe how many um, registeels that I've had. Hope you guys are getting something good from the code cards. There's a lot of cool cards in this. There's another hustle belt to go with the reverse one I had a moment ago. Oricario, which is kind of strange because it's a rare in cinnamon base. Tropius, a Slugma, Vagon, two of those in this set. Baltoy, I believe there's two of those. Beldum, Lotad, reverse is a Plusle. Very cool, could have used that for my Poker Slayer the other day. And a Manetric, very cool card. I actually pulled, if you watched my pre-release opening, I did get the Manetric pre-release holographic, which is the one I wanted. Okay, on to the Jirachi. Vista packs. Two of those in this opening right now. Whoa. Lots of green card codes so far. Everything has been green except for the Steelix one. But of course, there are still Prism Star cards in this collection, so obviously holding out to get a Prism Star. Oh, it's the first time I've seen Sora. Very cool. Right at the sun, same color as him. A low tab. C dots, two of those in this collection. Skitty. Reverse is a Trico, uncommon. And the rare is a Claydol, which that's the second Claydol I believe I have already. So four packs there, five packs in. Here is that bell spread I was talking about. I believe that it is Aquapolis. That this is a reprint of. Reprint artwork. Not necessarily a direct reprint of the actual entire card, just a reprint of the artwork. And the Ground Expedition. There's that bell sprout. Metatype, Spoink, Electric. Reverse is a Swaylock, which is just an uncommon. And the rare is. <laughs> For a moment, I thought it was another Registeel, but it is a Katana, which I haven't seen yet, so. Cool. Okay, three packs left, all Rayquazas. Feel free to give me some hits here, Booster Box, at, at some point. So like I said, just one GX or better so far from this, from all the packs that I've opened from this new set. <laughs> kind of feels like Crimson Invasion. Beast Ball, first time I've seen one of those. <clears throat> Look at your face down prize cards. You may reveal an Ultra Beast card you find there. Put it into your hand and put this Beast Ball in its place. If you play the Ultra Beast, it's a good card. Skitty. Hello, Master. Torchic. Metatype. Reverse is a Weeping Bell, which is just an uncommon. And the rare is. Hey, a Tyranitar Holographic. This is also a repeat artwork. I heard someone say the other day. But I can't remember who, which set they said it was a repeat artwork from. But that's two holographics and a reverse. So um, struggling a bit for the hits in terms of the ultra rares, but two nice, two nice uh, holographics there, and actually both holographics that I really wanted. I like the artwork on both of those. Um, so, not too shabby. Okay, so the first card from this last but one pack is a Mask Royal. Mignor, Volby, Love Disc, Spinarak, Torchic, Slackoff, Shuppet, Reverse is a rare Grumpit, which is nice. And a Swampert. Swampert was a big feature in the pre-release. In the pre-release packs, I know a lot of people had those in there. So on to the ninth and final pack, and actually zero ultra rares from this opening so far, which is um, fairly unusual for a booster box. You, you sort of expect it between six and nine ultra rares, and of course with these Prism Star cards, you can expect to see a little bit more, really. So last pack here: Swallow, Switch, Loudred, Shuppet, Mudkip, Vagon. Wisma, Trico, Reverse is a Larvitar, and the rare is a Stevens Resolve, which is just a holographic, but it's from what I understand fairly playable. Search your deck for up to three cards, put them into your hand, and then shuffle your deck. Your turn ends. So three holographic rares out of nine packs. Um, it's actually bang on the odds, because they're one in three. 
So hitting the ratio, but no ultra rares in those opening nine packs. So hopefully the rest of the booster boxes stacked up with them. That would be what I'm hoping for <laughs> in the rest of this. So thanks a lot guys for popping on by. I hope you enjoyed this opening. You get a little bit more insight into the into this set that has now been released. And um, thanks a lot guys for popping on by. Until next time, goodbye.